Hello and welcome to Bunedix. I'm very happy that you decided to click on the video and join me today because I have something very exciting to show you. I'm going to quickly teach you how to do your own custom livery for your car in Assetto Corsa Competizione. So let's get started. Um, for the start, I'll suggest you go into the game and you set up the custom team that you want to use as your template. So you just put in the team, your team name as usual. You basically, you actually don't need to go crazy on the colors. So for this video, I decided I'll just go with a Bentley. Um, you confirm, save the team, and then you exit the game. Once you're on your desktop, you open up the Explorer and you go to your documents. You open up the Assetto Corsa Competizione folder. There you have customs, there you have cars. So the reason I have said to save and do your team before that is because here you can see the latest car that you just did. You open up the uh, JSON file with the text editor and there you see basically all the values that the game uses. So the first one you want to change is the skin template key. You set this to 99, gives you a very nice and clean carbon layer to work with and then the next one here you just can cross check is it the team you set up you see the team name nationality everything and the second thing you want to change is the custom skin name this is usually empty so what this tells the game is in which folder your custom skin templates will be so we need to do this folder and we can come up with some names so what i do is just call it like tutorial underscore bentley and then we save close the file and copy the file because we need the JSON template anyway. You get back to customs, then you go to liveries. And here you set up the folder you just told the game to look for the templates, which was in our case tutorial underscore Bentley. Go in there, paste the JSON file you just did, and then we need to rename it. The way this game is actually pulling in the custom textures is either through two separate templates or just one template. So you have the option to do your design in two different templates and the reason for this is actually you can select different base materials. You can do one base layer with colors in let's say glossy and you can do the second template layer for the stickers let's say in, in matte or metallic or so whatever and you need to tell the game which materials each layer is. So you can do up to two and you need to name them accordingly. One is diesels, one is sponsors. So let's say we want to go with two. We just rename the JSON file we just copied into diesels. Just make sure it keeps the file extension. Then we open it. Basically get rid of everything between the brackets. And here I have all the material codes in my description below. So you just copy what you want. So for example, if you want to go with a glossy diesel layer, you just copy in the text for glossy. And then you just save. Then you paste in the file again, <clears throat> or you can basically copy this one. And the second one we need to rename to sponsors. And here you do the same. If you want to have the sponsors, let's say metallic, we need to use a different code. As I said, you can find them all in my video description below. You see it has different base values. And we just save it. So you have already the two files for the two livery layers you want to use for your car. Now the only thing that's actually missing is to tell the game or like have the, um, the according files with your livery. I'm providing the download link in the description where you can get a Photoshop template for every single car. And then when you open up the template, in our example, we need the Bentley. It will look like this. I really recommend you using Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, try something else. I'm not sure. Um, I can't really tell you anything about other programs as I'm really just using Photoshop. And this shows you all the wireframe with all the texture parts the game is using. It can look confusing um, at the beginning, don't worry. And 
what we need to do first here we need to do a new layer need to do a new layer put it on top like i did here and then there's a really easy way of actually changing and adapting the thing is you don't need to start up the game every time you did a little change and then close it change and start it up again do your first adaptions like if you want to find out which part belongs to to which on the car i mean it's easy for example we have the roof here just use a little bit of color on the top layer that we just did um, if you're not sure for example hmm, i don't know what is this part put a little bit um, color on this i always recommend using a brighter color so that you see it easier in the game um, we want to find out what this is so we put some color here on the mesh and here and maybe i don't know door we know what the door is but just to make sure you then want to save it as a png with transparent background so what you need to do is you get rid of the wireframe and you get rid of the white background layer so it looks like this only have the colors and stickers that are basically in the game and what you just did and then you save this select png and you go to the documents folder of Assetto Corsa, customs, liveries, into the tutorial Bentley folder we just did, or corresponding folder you just did. And then you need to save it as the layer that you want to have. Remember we did two, diesels, sponsors. Diesels is glossy, sponsors is metallic. So diesels, like for example, the base paint um, in glossy. So we need to name this diesels. And then we go for interlacing to keep it transparent. Saved in the game. You start up your game. You go to your team. Boom. It's there. We see, okay, roof. We see, okay, door. We see the other stuff we colored. Hmm. Okay. We don't see it. So it must be like an internal part or a wing or something else. And this is actually how you find out which part is which and how you can adapt the car. You do not close the game, you leave it open, just switch back to Photoshop, activate the two layers and you keep on playing around. You go back to your top layer, put in some more colors and that's step by step how you kind of find out the parts. So one thing you just have to look out for basically is that you can paint over the lines doesn't really matter for the game because it just uses what's in the mesh but always be careful that you do not color more parts simultaneously especially if you want to have different colors or different stickers or whatever on it so always make sure you just really color the appropriate part if you want to use the second layer that we did the, the sponsors one in metallic you just basically do the same you can either save this file now uh, with the name sponsors png you just get rid of everything you did or you open up the the clear template again so in this case actually since it's just the top layer you know we can delete the layer and then we like put in for example a sticker i did something funny here um just don't put in high resolution, I don't know, 10, 20, 30 MB stuff. Just use smaller ones, try around with the size. And then you just go in, let's say we put it on the roof. Oops, that was the wrong one. We just put it on the roof. We actually want to place it a little bit different. You can easily, you know, mess with the size, whatever. I always recommend you name it appropriately, like for example, Pizza Planet roof and then don't forget before saving deactivate the wireframes deactivate the white background and then since this is the new diesels layer we need to name it appropriately in the asset corsa folder like we did before which will be sponsors.png so we had the diesels one glossy now we want the sponsors one in metallic saving and the cool thing now in the game is just switch between the numbers and he loads the textures and you see we have the metallic looking sponsor sticker easy as that now 
If you don't want to have two different materials, you can actually do everything in one file like I did. I did everything as glossy with different um, layers in Photoshop so that I, uh, I don't get confused. You can position everything, it will all keep the same as you um, put in and set in either the diesels.json or the sponsors.json. And in this case, it doesn't matter which one you keep. You can either keep diesels or sponsors. Just keep both of the files, the JSON and the PNG, and you can delete the other one. The game doesn't care because you already explained it. And that's basically it. So this is the easy setup to get you started. I'll provide all the links and uh, um, codes you need for copying in the description. So you can download um, the car template that you need for your car and just start working on it. And as I said, most time will be spent actually in Photoshop, um, customizing the template, finding out which part is which part and which texture belongs to, to where on the car, positioning stickers um, like I did here, um, cutting out and, and you know, s um, positioning bigger banners or stickers like here with the door. So, so that's the tricky part to get it all worked out in the game. But the cool thing is, let me just show you how it will look once you're finished. It's a really fun and amazing experience and it will give you your unique car with maybe your own logo or your own design to really stand out and to look cool and have even more fun when you're driving your car on the track. So that was basically it. As I just said, you can either color the car completely or just keep the carbon base layer, do whatever they want, play around. Um, make a really cool car and just go crazy. Let me know in the comment section below if there are any questions, if I can help you with designing your own livery, if you want to know more. I'm always looking for feedback, um, if it was helpful or not. I would really appreciate if you could just, you know, leave a short comment, let me know how you liked it. Was it helpful for you? And Maybe just, you know, post a link and show me the custom livery you just did with um, the help of my tutorial video. So I wish you all the best, enjoy, and I see you soon in my next video. Bye!